Hey, back again with my little buddy, York the Guide Dog, to show you a trick that will help you to improve your typing speed if you're an iPhone voiceover user. One little setting could save you a lot. Anyway, I'll show you how in just a second, but first, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog, and ring that bell so you get the notifications as well. But first, let's have a look at this. All right, today I'm gonna to show you how you can make typing easier and faster in VoiceOver. So to demonstrate how typing works the standard way in VoiceOver, I'm just going to, I'll open up the calculator. So swipe down from the top of the screen with one finger. Control center, airplane mode, switch button. Off. Now find the calculator. Calculator, calculator, double tap to go double into calculator. To show more control. So calculator, result, zero. in the calculator, the way I would type I would find a number with my finger. Five. Once I've found that number, I would double tap anywhere on the screen to put the five in the typing field. Five. And three. Three. So it takes three strokes to insert a number into the calculator. All right, let's see if we can speed that up a bit. So closing the calculator. App switcher. Hey Siri, open voiceover settings. Let's take a look at the voiceover settings. Settings, voiceover, on. So using Siri to get into the voiceover settings, it takes me to the top voiceover. If I swipe from left to right down the screen. Voiceover speaks items on the screen. Gives me a description of voiceover. Tap once to select an item. Then it gives me a brief tutorial. Double tap to app, swipe three to go home, to use the app switch, to use control center, to use notificate voiceover practice button. Voiceover practice, not today, thanks. Continue to swipe from left to right down the screen. Speaking rate, speaking rate, speech, button, verbosity, button, braille, button, audio, button. I'm looking for typing. Commands, button, activities, button. Swiping from left to right. Rotor, button. Rotor actions, button, typing, button. Typing, so double tap on typing to go into typing. Typing style, standard typing, button. So at the moment, my typing style is set to standard. Double tap on standard typing. Selected, standard typing. Let's look at the other options now. Touch typing. Touch typing is the one that I want, so double tap on touch typing. Selected, touch typing. So I've changed my setting in typing to touch typing. So if I just jump out of there, I'll close voiceover settings. App switcher, settings, active, FaceTime. This is the iPhone 11, so to go into the control center to find the calculator, I simply swipe down from the top of the screen with one finger until I hear that first doink. Control center, airplane mode, switch button, off. Now if I find the calculator, calculator, calculator Double tap and hold to show more controls. Double tap. Calculator. Result. 53. Okay, let's clear that. So I'll find... All clear. All clear. Double tap. All clear. Result. Zero. Now, if I find the numbers here... Five. Previously, I would find the number, release my finger, and then double tap to put that in the field. But now that I've changed my typing to touch typing, I can find the five. As I release my finger, it's instantly inserted into the field. Five, five, two, two. So I can simply move my finger around on the keyboard. At the moment I'm doing it on the calculator, but it works the same on the QWERTY keyboard. Five, nine, nine. So it's inserting whatever your finger is on as you lift your finger from the screen. Makes it so much easier and so much faster for typing in voiceover if you're blind or vision impaired. Thanks for watching and if you got something out of that, smash that like button. That helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog. We, uh, we do have a bit of fun and share plenty of information that helps people that are blind and vision impaired. Anyway, smash that like button Subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll see you in our next video.